drought Central Texas experienced over the summer showing how the problem can be mitigated for growing communities. Yeah, the Brazos River Authority is looking at one project to help in Western Bell County. There's a public meeting going on right now. Ian Chris has more. The Brazos River Authority shared plans with the public Wednesday to provide West Bell County with water during drought conditions as the area continues to add residents. The current drought caused a burden for home builder Craig Sullivan. I noticed that there's uh, water restrictions uh, here at Dog Ridge and uh, I think they're at level two and it impacts some of us, it's impacted me, so. The state of Texas has identified ways to meet the water supply needs as certain counties in the state see a rapid population increase. The growth in Bell County and areas along Interstate 35 corridor were recognized as areas of concern that could experience water supply shortages. We've had growth in that area and we're really seeing growth in the last five to 10 years at rates that are unprecedented and that were never even contemplated you know, as recently as five to ten years ago. To address this, the Brazos River Authority proposed a pipeline taking water from Belton Lake to Stillhouse Hollow Lake. A pipeline similar to the one being proposed runs from Stillhouse Hollow Lake to Lake Georgetown. That pipeline has been in place probably for the last 15 to 20 years and it operates similarly to this proposed pipeline in that whenever it's dry at Lake Georgetown, we use that pipeline to help supplement a plan to help provide water to businesses and residents in Bell County when the weather is drying up the lake. The project's kind of been contemplated for a while, but we're actually seeing that growth happen now to where it's causing us to need to take action now so that we can have this project online within the next five to ten years. So Some residents are glad to hear relief is in the horizon for future droughts to come. We need it. Uh, it's, it's With all the growth here in, in Bell County, it's... it's uh, Something's got to be done, so especially when we have dry periods like we've had. In Bell County, Ian Chris, 25 News. Well, there are many paths that students go down after graduation, college, trade school.